one thing that you did just mention that I wanted to make sure I ask you about, you mentioned AB, you thought he did the right thing, a good move by bringing K York back. What was your experience with Andrew Barry? Yeah. So again, do because I was there in COVID year, um, I really didn't get a spend, uh, because of the proximity sensors and all those things sure. that we had to wear. I didn't get to spend a lot of time, um, with management or, or ownership, but I did get to know AB, um, uh, pretty well enough to where we stay in contact even to this day. Um, and, you know, he's a Harvard grad. He's an analytics guy. And I think he's trying to create, from my experience with him, we're trying to create, or Cleveland's trying to create that culture, right? How do we become a dynasty franchise similar to the, you know, the Patriots or other, you know, Baltimore, I think it has had a good run um, and they still are. But how do you, you know, how do you create that culture? I think it takes time, right? And I think it's finding, I'm, I mentioned it in, a, in an interview just the other day, it's finding that key, whether it's the quarterback or whoever, Joe Flacco, when he came in, right, that that changed the franchise completely just by bringing one guy in and changing the culture. So I think AB's still trying to develop that, even with Stefanski, um, and, and find that, that key. I think they're all trying to find what that is. I feel like we spend a lot of time telling our listeners and anybody who will listen that Cleveland is, they're turning the corner. They might not have reached the end goal yet, but where we were six, seven, eight, nine years ago, it feels like we're night and day uh, compared to that. Did you kind of, I know you didn't get to be around, but did you get the sense like, okay, they're kind of trending in the right direction. Like I can kind of see where this is headed. Yeah, well, when I was there in 2020, I think it's been the best season that Cleveland's had in a while. We made a pretty good playoff run. And, you know, I, I know there's some differing fan opinions on on Baker. Um, but when I was there with with him, I mean, he, he was not only from a, a cockiness or confidence. Uh, you know, I played against him in college, too, when I was at Kansas State. He was at Oklahoma. <laughs> and, then, and then a funny story with Baker before I go on about him is when I first got signed by Cleveland, when I was with the Raiders, I had a game in winter against Cleveland, and that was Baker's first career start in the National Football League. <laughs> and so when I walked in the doors, like the first person to come up and he's like, hey, I just want you to know, I remember that you beat me on my first career start. <laughs> so, so that was a, a funny thing with him. But um, I really enjoyed being around him um, because I got to see a, a leadership side of him as opposed to me being an opponent in college. And so I think he was... Um, kind of the glue of our team in, in 2020 and that ultimately led us to you know down the playoff stretch uh, you know granted we had a lot of other talent on that team um, but for me you know being inside the locker room I I attribute a lot of that success to him and and I think he did a really good job for us I think we've all we're all big Deshaun fans but we've also given Baker a lot of credit in being a part of the, the yeah. culture change in Cleveland and like kind of being yep. probably mm-hmm. the only quarterback in that draft that could have survived four years uh, into the turmoil he came into. So we've given him a lot of credit in being the guy to help kind of transition us into the hopefully the next phase of what our yeah. franchise is. And, and that's exactly right. It's it's transitional, right? I mean, we had a good run in 2020. Um, and then, you know, AB made the, the move to decide to bring Deshaun in. Um, and then now – what, where is that transition headed? And I think I, I have full faith in AB and in the ownership and Stefanski because um, they they know how to groom or how to create that culture. And, and when I was there in 2020, I got to see it firsthand and, and we made a good run. 